and one thing we were hoping to do, and Carly agreed to this before the show, is have Carly help us answer some questions about autism and what she's experiencing. If you're a parent out there with a, an autistic child, or you know anyone with autism, we're going to try to give you a brief glimpse into what someone with autism deals with. So we ask Carly these questions before the show because it takes Carly a little time to type out the answers. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Shears, so, why don't you ask yeah, Carly the first, the first question one. Had. So Carly, in the autistic community, there's a word called stimming that, that a lot of people use. What is that? In order to answer this question, I have to explain what a stim is. My experience is that most doctors don't even know what a stim is. Most people are able to be in a room and block out sensory input and focus on the person who's talking to them. For someone with autism, our senses come at us all at once and we do not have a filter that allows us to block out everything. We are constantly overwhelmed by sensory input. A stim, as doctors call it, is when someone creates output to block input. We create output in order to block out the ongoing input. Typical stims are covering one's ears and humming. This allows us to block incoming sounds and change frequencies that we are receiving. I would like to point out that most people in the world stim. How many of you doodle on a piece of paper when you're talking on the phone? How many of you twirl your hair or twiddle your thumbs or tap your feet when talking to somebody? That is all stimming. You may see more people with autism do it because our stims don't look socially appropriate. And that's Carly's voice. Yeah. And no one else could explain it to us like that, Carly. And that's the power that you are providing for everyone here because I can tell you that I have never understood autism like I do right now. Yeah, I agree. Just from hearing your response to that. So Carly, I was going to ask you a Twitter question, if that's OK. So you wait, still... before you ask it, should he follow you on Twitter? Yeah? Yeah. Will you follow me on Twitter? Will you follow? I think she's following you on Twitter. <laughs> How about, yeah. how about, can we take a picture together and then you can show me how to post a picture on my Twitter? Oh, be because deal? I don't want to do that go. yet. Deal? Pinky deal? That's a pinky square. Right. Yeah. Pinky? Yeah, pinky. If you want pinky. So you have to show me how to do it. Okay, Carly. If there was one thing you think everyone should know about autism, what would it be? That people who are on the autism spectrum have different gifts and talents that need to be molded. We're all capable of amazing things and need people to believe in us in order to shine. There are many people with autism holding important jobs and doing the most incredible things you've ever seen. We just need more people to encourage us and teach us how to reach our full potential. That's good. So Carly, I'm pretty sure you can do anything you want in this world. And I think and hope that everyone here today and everyone at home watching will realize that even though you may not always understand what someone with autism is going through, they may understand a heck of a lot more than you would ever imagine. Carly, thank you so very much for sharing your story. Arthur, thank you for all you're doing. Howard, thank you as well. And of course, if you want to know more about Carly's story, go to thedoctorstv.com. You can also read more of Carly's answers there. We'll have a link to her Facebook and Twitter account as well. 